Hello friends, welcome to the new tech navigators. My name is BK. In this video, you will learn how to create this IT service dashboard in Google Sheets. As you are seeing my screen, we are showing this dashboard sheet tab wherein we are showing total request which is 500, average resolution time in hours, average response time in hours and this is the SLA breach percentage. We are showing some other charts also like average customer rating by assigned technician, total request by request month, total request by status, total request by region, total request by priority and here we have total resolution time by department, average customer rating by region, average response time by assigned technician and total request by assigned technician. Okay, so these all information is the dashboard base and let me show you the data also. Here we have the request ID, service type, department, region, priority, status, assigned technician name. These all are drop down. You can change the value from the drop down. Then we have here request date, response time in hours, resolution time in hours, customer rating which is 1 to 5 number of interactions and then we are taking here SLA target in hours. So now we have created here few calculated column that is SLA breach yes or no and that is on the basis of resolution time and the SLA target hours. So if resolution time is less than the target hour that means SLA is not breached otherwise SLA is breached okay. In the total we are taking here one because every line is a ticket and here we are taking the number of SLA breach. So we have just put the formula here. If SLA breach is yes, then it will show one. Otherwise it will show zero. Okay. So if it is yes, then it is showing one. Here we are taking the request month. And, uh, that is on the basis of request date. Okay. Now on the basis of this data, we have created this dashboard and uh, we have created some other page also. So let me show you the search page and here in the search what you can do you can quickly search your data as you want for example we have selected the column here that is SLA breached this one and we have put here yes so it is showing the all record wherein SLA is breached if I put here no then it is showing me all the column wherein SLA is not breached and the number of record is 413. You can take some other column also, for example, just show me the escalated tickets only. So let's select the status and just delete this and just show here escalated. So even if you type here ESC and enter, then still it can give the escalated tickets. You can see here, this is all escalated and the count is 124. So you can search by any column, whichever you want or uh, let's say I want to see the priority wise data and I want to take here low priority or high priority. So just type here high and it will give you the high priority data that is 77 records. Okay. So this is the quick search feature we have put in this dashboard and then we have a support sheet. So let me show you the support sheet also and this support sheet we have created to create these top cards. And here we are taking the total request that is the sum of from the data sheet column O. So let me come to the column O. This is the column O. So we have put here one. So we are taking the sum of that. That means we are getting here total tickets. Okay. Now this is the average resolution time in hours. So we are putting here average and we are taking the resolution time that is column J. Here you can see that is column J. And similarly we are taking the average response time from column I. SLA breach from column P. So if you see we have already created this number of SLA breach. So we are taking the sum of this. So that is SLA breach. And here we are calculating the SLA breach percentage and that is SLA breach divided by total request. Okay. So that is how we have calculated the percentage. Now here what we are doing we have created these type of cards. So we have used the PowerPoint to create the shape. So let me show you. So we have used we have opened a PowerPoint slide here and let me insert a rectangle here. So let's say this rectangle and just create the rectangle here like this. And let's fill here white color fill and outline. Let's say I'm taking this green outline or you can choose any other outline whichever you want. 
and go to the shape outline bit let's take around half point and now copy this come to the google sheet and let's say here in the support sheet i'm just showing you and just paste that and you can make it smaller okay so that is how we have created these all shapes okay and once that is created then you can just create a card here so just select let's say total request and insert a card so we'll insert a card from chart okay and the chart we will take the scorecard here just take the scorecard so here you can see that is coming here or you can take from here also that is a scorecard chart as you click automatically it will show the total request 500 now you can make them smaller you can format this like key value i want to show it in the center size i want to take down 36 or more bigger you can type here let's say 56 and uh, let's take this chart axis this one total request align this center and take the black color and size take around 14 so that is how you can just create that and then you can place this here and now you can just change the chart style remove the border as none background as none okay so it is looking like it is the part of this card similarly we have created here and you can change the font color also like we have changed to the black color you can change to any other color okay so we have created all the cards here in this way and to create the chart i will show you so let me copy and paste again this shape and let's make it bigger to create a chart so we have created the charts here like average customer rating wise assigned to so i will show you this chart so let's insert a blank chart first and then just click on date range and just read this so average customer rating by technician let's go to the data first we will take the technician name that is assigned technician on column g and then take the customer rating just click on this click on ok now here x axis is the technician and the y axis is the customer rating okay let's click on aggregate so it will aggregate that and use the first row as header then this is taking the sum of rating okay you can see that so let's take here average of rating so you can change the formula here you want to take the count average or the sum then go to the customize and just click here and you can just change the color if you want to change let's say i want to take this color and then you can add the data labels also so just go to the series and scroll it down here you can just take the data labels okay and you can add the chart title also chart title just put here average customer rating by technician okay or whatever you want and then you can just take the black color size uh, 14 align center and uh, you can just uh, remove the background and the border also so that you can place properly inside this rectangle okay so you can just go to the customize background color take none chart border color take none okay so it is looking like it's a part of this rectangle similarly we have created here if i move this chart you can see this is the separate chart this is the separate chart and these all are the other chart you can use the other charts also similar to this and you can make the copy if you want to change the chart type you can change the chart type from here like you can take the pie donut or whichever you want and you can change the range from here just change the range and you can just change the formula from here if you are taking the total request then you can take the sum if you are taking the rating or the hours you can take average all right so that is how we have created this dashboard page and now coming to the search so what we have done here we have put the count a function you can see this is just a count a of this and here we have created a drop down to create the drop down you can just right click anywhere go to the drop down and here you can select the drop down from a range and here you can select the range so let's say i'm selecting this header range till here and click on ok now as you click on ok you can see all thing is appearing in this drop down and if you want to show here plan arrow then you can just scroll it down click on advanced option here we have this arrow so now it is looking similar to this all right so that is how we have created this drop down 
now here we have put the keyword so you just need to type here the keyword for example i want to search by the department so i'll just select the department and i'll just say just show me the record for the cloud services so i'll just type here let's say cloud just enter automatically it is showing me all record for the cloud services in the department you can see okay now let me show you how you can put the filter here we have used the filter function you can see so let me delete this and then i will show you let me delete this. let's say i want to show here sla breached yes okay so i can type here yes and i want to show those records so let me use here filter function come to the data sheet and we will select whole data excluding heading so just select all data till the end and just put here comma now after this we will put the condition okay first condition so the first condition will be we want to apply the filter for the sla breach okay now we will select here sla breach column that is available column n okay so just select the column n from row number two till here till the end okay you can just put here and 1000 records and this should be yes Okay, and just close the bracket hit the enter so that is how we have put the basic formula now this yes should be connected with this cell so we can just connect it with this that is working and if i type here no then it is giving the no but if i type here only by it is giving nothing because we have put here equal to okay so how we can get this dynamically if we type here by then still it should return the yes we will search this by inside this text okay so we will use the search function search and we will search this text search and then take this m3 you can just take this m3 also just delete this and just type here m3 this one comma and here we want to search inside this range okay so now it will return the numbers right if this is not an error if it is error that means we are not able to find so wherever error is false okay then it should return just close this is error wicket also then hit the enter when we put by it is taking yes if i type here n then it is taking for no right so this is working now we will make it dynamic because this is connected with the SLA breach with the hard code range. If I change this range, let's say region, then still it is working with the SLA breach, right? So we have to change this range and how we can change it. We will use here choose call function and just select the range in the data from A2 or you can just take this range also this range comma then we have to provide the column number so let's say i'm just putting here column number three column number three is the department column you can see and now just hit the enter so dynamically it will be working with the department so if i type the department as the cloud services and enter we have to put another bracket here then enter remove this bracket then enter so here you can see it is taking all for the cloud services only okay and uh, now because we have put this three is hard coded again because it is taking for the department if i take here four then it will be for region that means if i type here best region then it is taking for the best region so we will make this three also dynamic we can use here match function and let's select this column now and match in this range comma zero now this is dynamic if I change this column, let's say I'm taking here priority and I type here high, it is taking all high priority. All right. So that is how we have created this function and we have created this dashboard. All right. Friends, I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please hit the like button and please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos. Thank you so much for the watching.